Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Hodge. And I'm Lauren Mixon. The League of Women Voters is dedicated to helping their neighbors make informed decisions when election time rolls around. Yesterday, they held a city council forum at Alpena Community College to give candidates a chance to speak about the issues. Mark Hunter, Danny Mitchell, and incumbent runner Mike Nowak are in competition for the two seats available on the council. Co-president of the League of Women Voters in Northeast Michigan, Doris Faye, said it was important to allow community members to gain insight on the issues ahead of November's election. League of Women Voters, uh, the, one of their main missions is voter education and we sponsor these candidate forums so that residents and voters can have a chance to listen to the candidates, ask them questions firsthand. Some of the major topics discussed at the forum included plans for Michigan's Park, ways to keep young people in the community, and the city's wage gap. Here's what the candidates had to say regarding the dial-a-ride millage. I strongly support that uh, millage just because when you look at the entire community and what you need in a community to make it whole, you want an excellent school system, you want a hospital for health care, and you want a transportation system. This is a vital service for our city. We have a son that uh, uh, cannot drive, but he works with Nimrod. And Dial Ride is uh, a great system for him to be able to get out to work like this and still co contribute to his community as well as himself. A very large number of low-income persons and also persons who need access to health care and other services in the community who would not otherwise receive them. Keeping young people in the area was another hot topic at last night's forum. Obviously, it is uh, jobs is the first factor of it is to try to attract the jobs that would um, keep the uh, young people here. To do is we want to look at our manufacturing base. For every two million dollars that uh, that we can make a product here in Alpena and ship that product outside of our community, we create seven jobs. I don't know the answer for that. No comment. Election Day is Tuesday, November 5th.